Hey guys, Susanna here. Gonna just do another stitching with Sue's. Um, I've done a few um, blocks since the last time I saw you. See, I'll show you. I'll do the first one. This is the one I did last time. Um, and I think when I was with you last time, I hadn't put all this sort of stuff on. So I've got these velvet um, flowers and then got some buttons. And then these are the um, acorn ones um, that come with um, Lisa's pack that I got. Um, oh, I still need to do the tail on there. That's something that I need to do. So I'll draw that on there. But everything else, the yo-yos, and they look like they got little... Um, Victorian collars or whatever the, you know the old collars but I really love how that's turned out so and the background so I've got I think three background colors that I've used so I've got that one and this is another one that I worked on this one's with berries I may put the the word mushrooms in here somewhere maybe there I've got the berries here I've done them like French knots here and, and in here as well. So cute. And it's some velvet uh, leaves and then some of these little autumny. I've got two, two of these little um, doilies. So, um, yeah, the beauty of this is working on it and then you... Um, put all the pieces together so it's going to be a big wall hanging um i did some um wool here that's beautiful uh, variegated wool that i had um here i did some really nice stuff all of them have got beautiful edging um now this one this is my dear i think i sort of showed you this is the other background that i'm going to be having as well and i've got one more i'll show you um i originally just did that and i had just enough to fit up to there these are whopping great leaves i only had two of these um and then i had these which i um embroidered in the middle of them that already had it like that and i just thought oh dear was really cute i think i might have put that on the tag when i made the tag um and i did just to join that i did um chain whip stitch so i did a chain stitch and then i went around it and whipped it with this um pink color which i sort of wanted to bring out you know wanted to stand out a little bit so i may do something i don't know if you can see that i want to do maybe another pattern of something here but apart from that i think these three are done i've got the backing fabric sorted for all these other ones this is the other piece of fabric that I was talking about. So I'm going with the greens and um, teals. So that's the fabric that I've got from my the fox. And then I've got this one as well. So I've got a few different. And I've got this beautiful vintage um, sort of trim, which I'm going to put around there and I'll probably just sew it together in these little bits this i had to unpick it but it just matches it really really well and i'll probably put some leaves or something in the join um yeah and i found a little owl to go with that one um the that one's got this that on there that, because it was a such a a fairly full pattern i thought i'd have it on the, the, the um, planar background okay and then I've got this one because there's a bit of pink in there and I wanted it to go with the pinks and then I've got this one there you go that goes really pretty with that and then with the bunny this is another piece of that blue fabric but it had this because it was so full on I really did need something a little bit plainer and the other day I went to a shop and I found I found this and I really like it and I thought you know um, I may I may leave it because it's like yeah, it's a bit dirty there needs a bit of washing but 
I love that it's sort of got a circular theme. I might put something in between. Also found that on the same day. Isn't that gorgeous? How nice would that go in there? <laughs> but um, there was something about that. I just really liked it. So there you go. So that's how it's all looking so far. I grab all the bits and pieces. And the one that I'm working on at the moment. Um, is this guy so um when we do like stitching with Sue's we're actually going to do some stitching today so similar to the other one and I originally had sort of like yellowy these type of leaves in there but I thought nah I want it different um and because the robin's got sort of this orangey color um and it had these and it's basically the same, but I wanted to this one I'm around to sort of bring out the the blue the green brownie tones, and then this one sort of more the um, orangey brownie tones. So I'm using is it spruce? No, no, not that's not the spruce. Um, I used this one, the um, acorn, and I stitch sort of stitching and i'm still in the process of doing that um stitch that down in a stem stitch uh, i've got this beautiful wool here which a bit around there didn't want to do too much around there and these were it was a doily and um i just got the same color you can sort of see the work on the back the same color thread as the, that to stick it on so this is the original doily and this is the bits that I've done myself I like actually like the way that looks like there um, yeah so and you can't even see it if you match up the thread and I thought oh I'm gonna do little berries but I'll probably do it in the same color as that so what so I did I just drew something and then did the stem stitch and I using six six threads to um to do that part but then on this to do these which is just a lazy daisy stitch so which is I'm, I used three so you just one and then I go all the way along there making these little lazy daisy stitches so i just thought since i'm busy working on this i do have other stuff projects and stuff i need to do but i'm just i'm trying to rest my arm it, it is quite sore i haven't got the brace on at the moment um, the only thing about using the dmc it does tend to come apart on the I do like the, um, you know, these a little bit better. Someone walking past the window, if you can hear some talking. <laughs> um, yeah, it's because it's one strand and it doesn't doesn't pull apart. I mean, these are beautiful, hand dyed, but they do tend to pull apart. So I try and wet it a little bit. <laughs> so I just go back and forth, and. Um, doing a lazy daisy which make good petals but they also make good leaves see how it's sort of coming apart but I don't mind that in the leaf because it makes it look a little bigger and while I've got you here too I've still got the sale on so if you go in the link below it's a bit to my website um, because I've got up and coming projects, I, I've got a lot of stock that I need to pass on. So I thought I'd pass it on in clearance to you. You have to put this in the promo in below when you go on the checkout. There's a, like a discount code, which is SALE. It's all capital letters 30 because it's 30% off. Um, so and it's um, until the 11th of July. So if you know, you're wanting to get some good fabrics and kits and all that kind of stuff, Now's the time to get it because 30% is 
quite a big discount. So, um, yes, I had quite a few people make the most of it. And if you do, um, if you do buy bulk and the, um, it just automatically, you know, puts the postage and everything like that, I will always refund um, the postage that is too much. So, like, um, yeah, because it like for overseas it puts on you know the original $21 and then $10 every other item that you get which sometimes can cost something like one of the post parcels I sent up was like 40 something dollars um, but she got six packs so you know um, but then I still have to refund um, I think about $19 so um, yeah because it adds up so you will always get money back I'm re rambling on but yeah I just I don't think it's very fair when people even even though it is a sale and you're getting a, a bargain um, when people make money off postage it's not very nice okay yeah. looking rather cute so yeah, it is pretty easy to do a little thing with um lazy daisies I'm looking forward to doing the um the Christmas winter journal I've got all my bits and pieces ready I've got some nice packs in my in my sale there's still I think I might have about four green green packs that I've got which I've got a bit of red, um, green and red and stuff in there which would be perfect for the Christmas journal I think I might get one more um, yeah so I've got all my little I've got a little box of goodies set aside which I had for the other one as well which is always good to have I think um, both the girls mentioned you know you great get your collection of bits and pieces okay. so it'll be interesting to see what the prompts and everything are going to be yep. okay now here so the sit with Sue's is um just a bit of an update of some of the projects that I'm doing and just sitting and yapping and just a good opportunity for you to have um, you know have me going in the background yapping to you like I'm doing stitching with you which is always nice I always find when I go to my craft groups it's always nice doing stitching with um, like-minded people so I've got the other one. I'm really loving doing this. Even though I've got my birdhouse one I need to finish. And I've started this, but in a way, I've had it longer than the birdhouse one because I've had um I've had all these pieces um you know since 2021. It's um, literally the first one I did because I was doing a, um, this is the robin and I did a normal robin and I did one in a, um, in the nest and I wanted to keep the robin and the, I think the original one I gave to my friend um, and then I did a bird in the nest so that's why I, I'm not doing the bird in the nest in my thing with all the other ones because um, I thought I've got the robin and I might put the word um, robin in here do the stitch ring like I've done the berries and the deer okay starting here okay 
the hell are we all going? What are you all being up to? Maybe let me know in the comments below what project you're working on. Probably a lot of you are going to be still working on your journal of stitchery and getting ready to do the next one. Um, I've got a, I was doing packs for a beautiful project that I'm doing next year. I thought I'm going to wait until next year because it's going to be a fairly a lengthy process, but I'm actually very excited about it. Hopefully I'll get to show you soon that I, I'm going to do all the stitching and the videos and everything beforehand so I can have it ready to show you the finished product before I even start. I think it's better doing it that way because um, you can sort of see the vision of what I'm trying to do better if I have it all done and then show you. But you get very excited when you start a new project and I'm just like so tempted and want to show you. <laughs> but I've got to restrain myself. <laughs> But I am going to be, I've got another um, project that I will be bringing out soon and I'm um, probably three quarters through it. It's very nice. It's using my uh, antique Sanderson fabric that I got from my sister for Christmas. I'm finally getting around to sewing that project, yay. It's beautiful really really nice okay okay well I won't bore you too much so yep this is just sit and sew with me and up, updating um, you on um, what's happening and just having a bit of a chat sort of Felt like I've lost a little bit of my mojo for a little bit. I get a bit like that. Um, just feel like I'm needing a break. As my husband says, if you had like a, a regular job, this is the time where you know you're ready to have holidays. <laughs> I think I'm ready to have a bit of a break. But um, yeah, I'll sort of still. That's why I haven't been too regular with doing my um, videos. Usually I do Tuesday and Saturday and they've sort of been a bit all over the place lately. So, um, yeah, but that's how it goes sometimes. Anybody that's made videos gets it, can't always um, do it the same all the time. Now, okay, well, I'm going to bring it up. Yep. And just tuck it in. Then I'm going to do just, you know, I just do random three, two, one, blah, blah, blah. Just in sort of almost amongst the leaves. And then I wouldn't mind doing this is a, um, a friction pen. Just Maybe doing the word Robin. that that's probably a little bit big but on that, it irons off so I'll probably just do that yeah and then I'm going to stitch that in this color which is what I did the berries I can do the robin on that one a little bit bigger than the berries because I've got more room 
Um, yeah, I think that would be nice. And then that one is done. So that's four. I think I've got, I don't know, quite a few. <laughs> so, yeah. So don't forget, go and check out my website and put this in the discount um, section and get yourself a whopping 30% off some awesome kits. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much. Um, I appreciate you sitting and sewing with me. And um, I will probably catch you in the next video, which might be me doing my first um, Christmas journal, you know, the start or whatever the prompt is. So thank you very much, and I'll catch you later. Bye.